Now, NBC 26 meteorologist Brittany Merlot. Good evening, I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot. We've had quite a winter storm to deal with here for the holidays, from temperatures dropping from 51 degrees to negative 24 into Colorado, with wind chills of negative 74 and all these whipping winds and ground blizzard situation, plus our highs today only climbing to those single digits, double digits into Sturgeon Bay, Shawano, and Oconto. It's nice to not see those negatives in front of that number. But speaking of those negatives, we are in a wind chill advisory for tonight through tomorrow morning. Our temperatures right now sitting in those single digits, right? It's been so cold, but these winds are the worst part of it, which is why we're seeing those drifts and that blowing snow all over the roads. It is still slick and slippery out there where the snow gets recovered from that, but gusts up to 40 miles per hour is making it feel like the double digits below zero from about 15 to nearly 25 below right now. So this is why that windchill advisory is in effect. We do have a warm up though headed our way in a few days. All right, we're going to stay partly cloudy here tonight. Tomorrow, some sunshine to start the day. A few clouds rolling in in the evening hours. Now we've got a lot of snow that we got over the past weekend, anywhere from six to nine inches, which is kind of nice because the last four Christmases we've had them brown out there and our chances to usually have a white Christmas are about 60 to 75%. So it's kind of nice to see that bright stuff flying around out there. It's the first one that we've had, like I mentioned, since 2017. So as we take a look outside right now, nothing but a few clouds still getting smacked with lake effect snow into the UP. And of course, that lake effect still hitting Michigan and Canada as well. Speaking of that, where's Santa? He's flying around in all of this out there right now. It looks like Santa is located about 210 miles away right now. I don't think he's coming in here for the next at least seven hours or so. So kids, you got a little bit more time to stay away get those cookies and milk ready. Where is he at right now? Looks like he's trying to get into someone's house. Yes, yes. Good job, Santa. Zero degrees is our overnight low here tonight. Now, of course, the elves are so excited. They're done working. The toys are made. They're being delivered right now. And of course, we're going to be looking at high temperatures tomorrow of just nine degrees. But families, parents, we're going to be watching those Packers wishing we were in Miami with 52 degrees. A few showers there at kickoff. Cold for them, but not for us. Speaking of us, we're going to see a warm up. So kids get out there and go sledding, but bundle up if you do. We've got some packed snow as we go into our Monday with some warmer temperatures. Tuesday, it's going to be icy snow as it starts to melt because by Wednesday, I don't know if you're going to get out there sledding anymore because we have such a warm up headed our way. So to start the week off, we're going to see teens here for us. We will see a chance for a few spotty flurries out there in the morning hours. Same thing with Tuesday. When we finally get back into the 20s. That'll feel like a heat wave, but the real true heat wave hits midweek next week where we start to get cloudy by Wednesday, Thursday, chances of showers rain showers move in as our temperatures are going to be at 40 degrees. Now what happens after that is still in the air because temperatures hovering slightly above freezing. If that system pulls in some colder temperatures, we'll see that turn to all snow. But right now, wintry mix.